Hi guys, welcome to the new video of this Linux tutorial series. In this video, we are going to discuss a very important concept uh, that is important to real world example also and uh, with the with respect to uh, exam also. Okay, so the concept name is swap memory or swap space. So what is swap space? This, this is a very confusing concept. Uh, normally, I see when I am uh, like uh, delivering lectures or delivering the workshops in the colleges. So, swap space is basically a very easy concept, okay. So, we have two concepts uh, in our operating system, one is hard disk, another concept we have is RAM, okay. And uh, you know that uh, I told you in the before videos also that RAM is very, very expensive than hard disk, okay. So, the 8 GB of RAM is costing around the 1 TB of hard disk nowadays, okay, that's you know. So, and uh, you, you also know one thing that program will store in a hard disk. But program we can't run as user because CPU will not access hard disk directly. So that program we have to move to the RAM. That program when moved to the RAM is known as process. If you don't watch out my video of this uh, third or fourth video, please watch out the video if you want to know exact the difference between program and process. That's a very core concept of operating system. Nobody will tell you in that deep. Okay. So this is a process when the program moves to the RAM. Okay. And if you want to run multiple tasks at the same time, let's say I want to run VLC, I want to run some media player, I want to run some movie at time or multiple things, game, music, multiple things. So, RAM is very limited in memory. So, we can't run all the things together. And in the background, some scheduling algorithms also running in the OS that are called like CPU scheduling algorithms. Okay. And uh, if the RAM space is full or you can say there is a concept of called deadlock. If you don't allocate a CPU or a proper space, you will fall in the condition of deadlock. That's not a good practice, okay? So, that's why here is a concept of swap space, okay? Now, what swap space is? Swap space is like a space in a hard disk. Some amount of space in a hard disk. And there is some formula to calculate also, like how much swap space generally or in a standard we uh, want to have in a system. Uh, so, that a formula you can read from internet, okay? Something 2x of RAM, we need some, some amount of, uh, some formula is there, okay? But the concept is when RAM is full or when processes are there in the RAM and those processes are such in a huge number that RAM is almost getting full. So, there is a use of swap space. Okay. So, there are multiple processes in a RAM and inside a process you can think there are multiple pages. So, process uh, you can think of like program is moving to process and inside, inside a process there are various pages. Those pages will execute one by one you can think of like that. Okay. So, this is a RAM and this is some hard disk and some in the hard disk some specific amount of space is allocated for a swap okay and when the RAM is almost getting full those inactive pages of process will be moving to this swap space okay those inactive pages inactive pages means like you are playing game but in the background because of your game sound your music player is uh, like music player is also kind of process and the process of pages so that is not in the use but those pages will be still on the RAM because the process or program is open in the background also but they are not getting in use so they are inactive for us so automatically those inactive pages will move to the swap to save the space more or to save the RAM more and once we close the game and if you want to play music again those pages will again come back to the RAM okay that's the process happening in the background okay now, if you want to see the swap space in the Linux system, there is a command uh, you can check that is free command. Free command will show you memory also and this swap space also. And if you want to see in megabytes, see in the gigabytes, if you want to see 4 gigabytes is there. See, I told you just double will be uh, the RAM from swap. That's some kind of formula is there. Okay. Now, uh, this command, every command is reading some file in the background and taking the output from the file only. So, the command or the file that uh, this free command is reading for the swap memory is, in the proc, we have one file, I guess swap or swaps. Yeah, swaps. See, this is the same number that you can see here. So, there is a swap basically and uh, there are commands associated with the swap also. Even though if you want to create a swap with your own, you can create it. Let's say I want to create call, if I do, let's say dd. Uh, if you know, don't know about the dd command, you can watch out a video. But I am using directly this command. I don't want to waste the time of the other people that already watched that video. And the output file I am giving is like swap file I can give. Okay. Now what is bs? You have to go to my video and check that uh, dd video. And count something around I can give it like uh, 
six double five three six, so it will be sixty five MB. Some around, yeah. Okay. If I hit enter, see, it's copied. Now I want to change some permission. Now you don't have to focus on this permission. When we will see the C H M O D command, you will come to know what the permission mean is. Why we are giving zero six double zero. But yeah, now there is a command M K S W A P. Okay. Now this M K S W A P is a command in which front of which we have to give a swap file path. This path and what M K S W A P command will doing is if I show you before this free hyphen G. Even though it's now four, see. But I want to add my extra swap space. So M K S W A P is like formatting a partition or hard disk. Same way, if you want to format or create a new swap, then we have to use M K S W A P. Then the swap file name. See, it set up the swap version. Now, even if you check now, it will not see here. Why? Because we just created a partition, or you can say it like we just created a swap. We just set up a swap. But now to use a swap, we have to on that swap. So command is swap on then the swap file. Now, once again. So I done this, and if I check now, even though it's four only, why? Because I enable the swap, okay? But the swap will be turned on after the booting time, okay? This is because of swap on command is built in a way uh, in this way only. Yeah, but uh, apart from swap on, we have another command that is uh, I will show you swap off. And they, if I check you the option of this command. uh we can disable all the swap see this is the command so if i right now let me check the option of this command also maybe something i am missing uh no i am not missing anything so see this is one file we have to do some entry in this file and after this boot this is the very first file that reading after a booting time what this file is what we have to do in this file i will explain in the next video that is on the partitions what type of how many type of partitions and how we can mount a partition permanently same way how we can mount or create a part so have permanently by using this file okay and uh, if i show you one more thing so uh what i'm showing you i'm showing you swap off yeah so if i do this swap off and i want to disable all my swap space i don't want to uh, enable it because sometimes that's not a good practice to enable swap so i'm disabling it if i now do free hyphen g see now it's zero okay now if i show you the proc and the swaps see nothing here but again if i reboot my system very quickly so init 6 will help us to reboot my system so And let me give you some context on that file. Okay, when we are booting the operating system, again the operating system is a process only, and in the background the processes are moving to the RAM. So the one of the process or one of the file that will read by the operating system once it's booted up, the very first file that will read by operating system is etc fs10. Now what the file uses, not I'm going in detail, but you can think of whatever the entry in this file regarding the partition or swap. Those want to make if you want to make permanent those entries we have to use this file that means even though i deleted swap off it will again come back because the entry is here in this file if i want to delete that swap permanently i have to remove the entry from this file okay now if i show it to you very quickly let me log in again and i will show you the free hyphen g command again the 4 gigabytes of the swap space will be come back so that is a basic use of swap space and it's not a good practice uh, to use the swap Again, in the question or again in the uh, exam of yours, you will see one question based on this, on the swap. Now, let's let's wait for a minute only. It will be putting up. So, yeah, sometimes it's taking very long. I am not sure. Even though I reported only, uh, but yeah, let's let's wait. In the background, if I show you somewhere, somewhere you will see etc fs swap is read by the operating system. Somewhere you can see the very first file is read by the operating system. 
okay and now let me log in very quickly let me pause this video not to make it long yeah so it's booted up and if i log in very quickly okay so i have to click on this not stay then root then red at 19 something my password even though if you know my password you can't access my system so don't be happy guys okay it's booted up completely now let me open my terminal and if i write the command very quickly that is free hyphen g see again 4 gigabyte if i now very quickly show the file which file etc fs step c swap that's why it's automatically come up again so that is the use of this file we will discuss this in detail but yeah that's all for this video in the question in the exam we will get on one question on this like what you have to do is you have to disable the swap and don't forget you have to do first swap of hyphen a but even though if you do this thing only only this command you will uh, lose your that question marks so what you have to do go to the etc fs step and remove the whole entry of that swap so that's all about this video if you have any doubts uh, regarding this video, you can post me in the comment box or you can reach out to me on LinkedIn. So thanks for watching the video. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the